Our lesson today is the set of integers. But before we study integers, we have to remember the set of counting numbers, which consisting of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. We use counting numbers to counting things. There is another bigger number, it's called natural number, which is begin from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. The two sets, counting numbers and natural numbers, are two positive sets. We can represent counting number in the number line, beginning from the number 1, and each number at the right of the 1 is bigger than the previous number. That means 2 is bigger than 1, 5 is bigger than 4, 8 is bigger than 7. Also, natural number can be represented by no on the number line, beginning from 0, and each number at the right of 0 is bigger than the previous number. That means 2 is bigger than 1, 3 is bigger than 2, 7 is bigger than 6. There are many problems save the two set counting numbers and natural numbers. Like, how can I measure the depth of submarine under the sea level? Also, how can I find the temperature in Moscow and all, all which always be under the zero? So we have to find another set of numbers which is bigger than natural number and bigger than counting number. The new set is called integers. It's symbol Z. So Z consisting of three sets of numbers set of positive numbers which called z positive and set of negative numbers which is called z negative and the set of zero. Set of negative numbers represent all the numbers under the zero or under the sea level or under the ground. So z equals zero, one, two, three, and so on and also consisting of negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. All the positive number represent the number above the 0 and the 0 level and negative numbers below the 0. We can also represent that by the union of the positive, the set of 0 and the negative. There is another way to represent that by the union of natural number because it's consisting of zero and positive number and the set of negative number. Now we are going to represent the set of integers by Venn diagram. You can draw any figure and divide it into three sets, the positive, the set of zero and z negative. This figure is called Venn diagram which represents the set of integers and let's remember z equals z positive union the set of zero union z negative. Now it's time for representing integers on the number line. We draw straight line, we put zero in the middle and the positive number will be at right of 0, the negative number will be at left of the 0. Let's know th thing. Every number at the right of the 0 is bigger than 0, but the negative number is smaller than 0. Okay? That means 2 is bigger than 0, and also 2 is bigger than 1. But Negative 1 is smaller than 0. Negative 2 is smaller than 0. By another note, in the negative number, each number is bigger than the next number. That means negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. Because negative 1 is under the 0 or below the 0, so when I go down, just 1 is bigger than go down 2. So negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. 
and also negative 3 is bigger than the next number negative 4. Negative 6 is bigger than negative 7. This is the opposite of positive numbers. And also another note, if you note that positive number, you have to put the sign negative in front of the number. But in the positive number, you can put 3 only or you can put the sign positive in front of the number. Let's solve example number 1. Write an integer to express each case. Number 1. Honey gains OE 76 from his saving account. So, I will write 76 as a positive number or as a negative number. Honey gained, that means honey take, honey earned. So, I will write 76 as a positive number. That means 76 more than zero. So I will write 76. Number two. The temperature of Moscow city is 8 degrees centigrade below zero. 8 below zero. So here you have to write 8 as a negative number. So I will put the sign of the negative and I will write 8 degrees centigrade. Three, the depth of the public garage consisting of four floors underground in Cairo downtown. Here, garage, that means under the ground, so it's represented by negative, so I will put the negative sign and I will write four. So that integer here will be negative four because it's under the ground. Number four, Ahmed withdraw six thousand pounds from his bank account. Withdraw, that means his account lost six thousand pounds. That I have to write this number as a negative number. I will put the negative sign and then I will write six thousand. Before solving example number 2, we have to know or remember natural number is a subset of integers because natural number is smaller than the set of integers. Also, that positive is subset from z. That negative is subset from z. The set of zero is subset of the set of integers z. Now let's solve example number two. Put true or false. Number one, zero is the smallest positive number. Zero is the smallest positive number. Is it right or wrong? Let's remember we put zero on the number line in the middle. It doesn't belong to the positive number nor the negative number. So, zero, neither positive nor negative. Depend on that, this statement is false. Two, z equals z positive union z negative. Is it right or wrong? Let's remember Z equal the union of three sets. Z positive, Z negative, and the set of zero. Here, there is no the set of zero, so this is statement wrong because it met the set of zero. Three, Z positive is the set of counting numbers. Let's think. Z positive means all the positive numbers which are 1, 2, and so on. And the set of counting number consisting of 1, 2, 3, and so on. Also, we note here the two sets are equal. 
z positive and z set of counting number. That means the statement is right. For z equals the union of n natural number and z negative. Let's think. n consisting of 0 and all the positive numbers and z negative consisting of all the negative numbers that achieve that z equal all the positive number and all the negative numbers and 0. So, this statement is right. The last one. Z positive intersection Z and 0. Intersection, yani the common, means common element between Z positive and the set of integers is 0. This statement is false.